Hey, what's going on everybody? This is D here with High Off Blue Hour, and we're going to go over a pretty easy way to remove the black background from stock video clips and stock footage that you would find on things like Pixabay and other stock video websites. And we're going to be working mainly with um, fire and flame footage that's on top of black backgrounds just because that's going to be the most really most easiest uh, type of footage to work with and you'll get the most dramatic results uh, so let's go ahead and get into this and also i have kind of uh, done a video similar to this a while back talking about creating motion graphic overlays with transparency this is going to kind of have a similar kind of a similar idea about using a different technique and this particular technique might have more of a use case scenario than the other technique in that video. So we got this image here. This is, I didn't get this from a stock website. This is a, this is from a graphic pack that was within CyberLink PowerDirector, the mobile app. And I just downloaded it and put it onto the computer as well. And it's just a flame animation. Just a flame animation that's sitting on a black background and so one thing that you could do a cheap way or not really cheap way but more of a kind of a shortcut way to you know maybe even a, a lazy way you could say but if it works maybe lazy isn't the right word but a, one way you could remove the background from this visual is you could simply i'm going to bring in something here to overlay under it in a minute here but you could simply let's highlight it you could simply go to composite here and you see where it says composite mode and it says normal you could just change this to add and in that mode you bring something in up under it you get this level of transparency right the black background has obviously basically you know it's been removed but also some of the life in the flame itself has also been removed a little bit. Now the flame is obviously still visible because it's, you know, bright and, you know, it's a flame and it's in motion. You can still see it, but it's also kind of transparent in itself and not even really transparent in that kind of realistic fashion. It feels like it's not even actually there. Like the flame itself is more like a ghost, right? So this can work in some cases you know it's a quick fix but what we're going to do we want to legitimately and actually remove the black background but maintain the vibrancy and the color and the presence of the flame so how we're going to do that let's remove that under that background under there and let's change this back to normal mode so how we're going to do that we got our image highlighted what we're going to do is with this highlighted, we're going to go into the Fusion tab. And so we have, uh, we're here in the Fusion tab, this media in node, this is our flame video footage with the black background. And this is the media out node. And so what we're going to do, we're going to take the mouse and just click somewhere here in the open space. And then we're going to click shift space bar. Now I already have Delta Keyer in here because I've been using it, but you know, if you hadn't previously been messing around with it you might have to type start typing it in and you would just start typing in delta and it would eventually pop up here at the top so you select it and hit add and so now it's been pulled into your fusion area and so what you would do is you would grab you would grab it click and grab and then you would hold shift and let and hover delta keyer over this line till it turns blue and yellow then let go and it'll hook in to the yellow line in between media in and media out. So now we have Delta Keyer in there. And then you want to highlight Delta Keyer and we want to remove this black background. So how I do this, and again, I'm not an expert, so this might not be the most uh, optimal way to do this, but this is this will accomplish the goal of removing the black background. So what we're going to do is here it says background color and you got this gray box we're going to go down here to where you have reference and you have this gray box we want to click into this reference box and this color box is going to pop up and we're going to select black and that's going to remove the black from this from our background so now we have this a transparent background with just the flame on it now you can go up here to background color and change this to black as well it's actually not totally necessary at least not in this particular scenario but i'm just doing it just 
uh, just to do it, to be to be honest with you. But I've done this uh, without changing that particular part to black before. But so, but I did change it to black here. So now we got our flame here with uh, transparency. Looks to be in the condition we need it to be in. As you see, it's maintaining its color and vibrancy. It doesn't have that kind of ghostly look that it would have if you simply did composite add. So now let's go back into the timeline. And so what would happen here, is I would delete this off the timeline, this background there. And so what would happen here is we would highlight this, make sure everything is everything. And then we would go into the deliver tab and we would export this. And this is where we would export it basically with the same settings as that we used in the motion graphic overlay with transparency video I did a while back, which is we want our format to be in QuickTime, codec to be in GoPro Cineform. We want type to be in RGB 16 bit. And then we want export alpha. We want that box to be checked. And then so we would pick the folder that we want things to the everything to go to by clicking browse. Once we have that folder picked, we click add to render queue. And then once we do that, render all over here, this would highlight and you'd click that and start rendering and exporting um, your video, which would be in QuickTime or MOV file mode. So I already took the time to do all that before I recorded this. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back into the timeline. Let's delete this. And we're going to actually bring in... Uh, the QuickTime MOV file that we quote unquote just exported basically. But as I said, I did this, you know, before actually recording this video. So we're gonna bring this in and this is it right here. And then to display the transparency, let's bring in the background again. And let's pull this background up under the MOV file and boom. So now you see we have our, uh, this is that fire with the black background and we simply using the Delta Keyer Infusion got rid of the black background. Now compare this to, let's stretch this background out some, compare this to if we had just did it the kind of shortcut way of just using the add mode in composite. And if we had did that, it would have looked like this. Let's bring, this is that, stock or kind of video of the flame with the black background this is the original one before we did the delta keyer and we're going to change it to composite mode and so this is what it would look like if we had simply went the composite the add composite mode route uh, from the inspector tab now it's like i said we talked about it previously black background is removed technically but the flame also has this ghostly in a not in in a non good way has this ghostly quality to it where it doesn't really seem like it's actually there the way we would like it to be the black background got removed but also some of the color and the vibrancy of the flame itself got removed when using composite mode add but when you use delta keyer infusion to just legitimately remove the black background you maintain the vibrancy and the richness of the flame while getting the transparency of the lack of a background. And again, this is a MOV file. So this is a technique that's when you want, this is for when you want to incorporate these videos into your edits, because you can drag M MOV or QuickTime files as, as you could also call them. You can drag these into most video editing suites and overlay them on top of backgrounds and whatnot and use them now by themselves trying to view them alone by themselves like as just a regular video like on your phone or something like that oftentimes won't work but they work within editing suites like davinci resolve adobe premiere pro final cut so on and so forth so that is the video that is and again this is something that this will work with any video uh particularly lights and flames and fire and things like that that have black backgrounds uh you know if, if you have a lot of shadow type things going on with your subject of your video you know you might run into some issues with trying to get a clean cutout 
But in this case, in terms of fire, flames, and lighting, and things like that, you can get some good results. So this is how you can do that, removing the black background from stock video clips. So that is the video, you guys. Thank you for watching. Catch you on the next one.